META'S CHIEF OPERATING OFFICER SHERYL SANDBERG ANNOUNCING YESTERDAY THAT SHE IS STEPPING DOWN IN THE FALL AFTER 14 YEARS AS MARK ZUCKERBERG'S NUMBER TWO. SHOULD INVESTORS FEEL GOOD ABOUT THAT MOVE? JOHN FORD IS HERE TO WEIGH IN ON THAT. JOHN, GOOD MORNING. YEAH, MORNING, BECKY. I MEAN, YES, IT, it WAS TIME FOR SHERYL TO MOVE ON. THESE LAST FEW YEARS HAVE BEEN BRUTAL FOR FACEBOOK AND THE BROADER META PORTFOLIO. MAJOR CHANGE NEEDED TO HAPPEN AT THE TOP AND ZUCKERBERG'S NOT GOING ANYWHERE, SO IT HAD TO BE SANDBERG. LOOK, FOR ALL SHERYL SANDBERG'S GIFTS, SHE WASN'T ABLE TO SEE THE WORLD FOR WHAT IT HAS BECOME, A PLACE WHERE FACEBOOK'S MISSION OF CONNECTING THE WORLD LEFT IT VULNERABLE TO EXPLOITATION BY PEOPLE WHO WANT TO USE THOSE CONNECTIONS TO SPREAD HATE, LIES AND SCAMS. The advertising business model she led the company to build is the envy of the Internet economy. But it's also proven limiting at a time when governments are eyeing stricter privacy rules and Apple shutting down the simpler methods of ad targeting. Uh, Sheryl Sandberg brought Facebook and eventually Meta the discipline it needed to grow from an amazing product into a dominant half-trillion-dollar company. Now it needs leaders who can take that model apart and redesign it for an era defined by Fear and factionalism, not trust and techno lust. Investors should be glad new leaders are stepping up, Becky. But of course, uh, Cheryl Sandberg's had some rocky moments. That, there's a lot of institutional knowledge that is leaving a day to day role with her. I know she's sticking around on the board, but uh, it's not easy to replace somebody like that. Well, on the other hand, uh, <laughs> Cheryl Sandberg stepping down isn't great for Facebook at all. I mean, sure, the last few years have been tough, and Sandberg took the brunt of it for most of that time. The company's completely controlled by one man, Mark Zuckerberg, but Sandberg would often be the one facing criticism for Meta's policies and philosophies. Also, consider the real management work Sandberg did. No one persevered in the Silicon Valley Internet bro culture longer. Her 14 years at Meta is longer than the 10 Meg Whitman spent at eBay far longer than the five Marissa Meyer spent at Yahoo. Uh, Sandberg pioneered things like convenient parking for expectant mothers and tech employee lots, which was not something the guys had thought a lot about until she raised it. Uh, expanded parental leave, too. So what I'm saying is Sheryl Sandberg isn't in charge of the core product, and she didn't run the growth teams that optimized the Facebook and Instagram experiences to be sticky or engaging to the point that some call them addictive. Don't blame her for that. But her work in ads at Google to now, from through all that, she did figure out how to make the consumer Internet pay off for investors. And investors should be sorry to see her go. You know, her, her time in the Internet bro culture outlasted not only other women in Silicon Valley, but a lot of guys, too. Even somebody like a Sergey Brin, who stepped away from day-to-day -day roles much sooner. Um, and, and when you look at what she did, there was this huge issues with the advertising platform and what she built up. There's an Axios story out today that talks about how when she stepped in back in 2008, it was $272 million in revenue there, <laughs> grew it to over $118 billion in revenue in 2021. That's growth of over 43,000%. So I think it's hard not to look at this and say well, there she took this company and made it what it was over that course of time. Yeah, these are uh, global sorts of challenges, and certainly Facebook and Instagram in social media sort of uh, uh, created a lot of these issues. But these are also global business models, and there have been very few people who came in not as founders but as operators and managed to, to create that much value. I mean, Tim Cook comes to mind, still running Apple. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a complicated legacy, but the, the value creation part, at least, is pretty clear.